Hey everyone, this is Emil Grastra of Dangerous Things, and I'm here to talk about WalletMore today. It's a company I've been working with for a while with the singular focus on making a payment implant and bringing it to market. Uh, you know, I've been trying to do this for a while and it's been <laughs> very difficult with a lot of hurdles. Uh, I've had to look at other things and go other directions, um, but uh, WalletMore is singularly focused on bringing that payment implant to market and, and building services on the idea of a payment implant, um, on financial services and all of the plethora of above. So um, it's pretty exciting to, to be able to talk to you about it today. We're launching the first, uh, maybe of many, payment implant devices on January 1st. And uh, yeah, I'm here to introduce uh, Wojtek Paprota, which is the CEO of WalletMore. I am the CTO. I'm doing all of the kind of technical uh, biosafe polymer resin, all that kind of work on the actual implant itself. But the man driving is Wojtek, so uh, take it away. Uh, hey, uh, yeah, I'm Wojtek Paprota. I'm the CEO of WalletMore, and I'm very happy to meet you all of you guys. And first of all, thank you, Amal, for introducing me. Uh, yeah, uh, it's a great pleasure for me to work with you, Emil, and uh, get get to know you and your customers and uh, get dangerous things on board uh, at Wallet More. And given the fact that dangerous things is pretty much a synonym of uh, quality and of the standards of the smart implants globally, uh, I believe that our products will be equally perfect as everything that you did over the last couple of years. So. As Emil said, we've been working together for almost 18 months now, and uh, I'm extremely happy to announce that uh, we already got the MVP. We are launching sales on the 1st of January, and uh, it's also my personal dream just to make it avail available to the masses. For now, of course, it's gonna be, gonna be a very small group of people uh, which uh, who will be called Wallet More Ambassadors and will have an early access to our MVP that in the end of the day solves the problem of uh, the ability to pay with a wave of your hand. So uh, for now, as Emil said, that's uh, just one implant, one single implant that we are launching on the January 1st, but we are thinking way beyond the one single implant. Uh, together with the VivoKey, we would like to create and build the whole ecosystem where you will use uh, our implant, the VivoKey implant, precisely speaking then, uh, only as an authorization device to trigger the whole transaction. Then WalletMore, which is focused only on the payments sphere and does things only to in relation to the payment payment uh, domain and payment niche, uh, will will build the accounts where you will be able to store your funds there and uh, use the implant only for the authorization purpose, which was, of course, the ultimate target for the Vivo key when it was launched uh, a couple of years ago. So I'm extremely excited to be a part of the whole project and also to start and run the, the wallet more company. Uh, as we as, as as we said already many times, just the beginning for us, uh, we are just launching the first implant, but uh, I believe that the journey we have uh, ahead of us is extremely exciting and it's a long journey. So I truly encourage you to join our project, to become world more ambassadors and simply be a part of this journey. Of course, from our perspective, it will require a tremendous amount of work and time and effort spent on this, um, on this project and developing it. Uh, I believe that the biggest challenge that now we are facing is to get the financial institution status uh, and then build the whole digital infrastructure to enable you guys to uh, use the full potential of our company and uh, of our assets, but I, I'm i sure that it's totally doable and you'll probably hear uh, an update from us regarding this type of project and this tasks that, uh, that we are now focusing on uh, in 2021. Uh, and I definitely believe it's doable and I'm truly overly excited about it. So uh, again, thank you very much, Emil, for partnering with WalletMore, and I'm really looking forward to our cooperation uh, in whatever we do. Yeah, uh, it's going to be great. Uh, so let's cover a couple of frequently asked questions. Um, I'm sure the first question is going to be about expiration. Does the WalletMore implant expire? And the answer to that uh, is yes, it will expire uh, within uh, give or take a few, uh, three years. So the, the normal implant process would be you'd have to put it in and in three years you'd have to remove and replace it. 
But the plan, the plan, the goal, as as Wojtek talked about, is to move toward a legitimate wallet more uh, payment service application on the VivoKey platform. Um, this this device that we're selling uh, on January first and we're launching with uh, cannot be that uh, yet. So that's the goal that we're working toward. This is uh, the bridge to get there. So wallet more ambassadors that that um, take up this device are going to have an upgrade path in the future when that device expires for um, you know, a Vivo key based uh, payment application and financial services around it. That's, that's what we're working toward. Um, another question would be, I think the last question would be uh, construction materials. So Dangerous Things is, the, is um, making these devices with our kind of tried and true tested flex material, our biopolymer, uh, it's USB class six and ISO tested for biocompatibility. I've had several devices in me for a while now using this material. So. Um, again, it's a, a totally safe uh, device and, and material that we're working on. And again, just to cover um, its utility and use case and how you're going to use it, you, this device will be linked to bank accounts and that bank account will be from a specific list. Uh, you can find out more at the WalletMore website. Um, that bank is going to be inside the EEA economic zone. Uh, but once you have that bank account link, you can use the WalletMore implant anywhere contactless payment works globally, US, Canada, wherever. Um, finally, we'll just wrap up with um, the, the progression, once again, mentioning the progression toward VivoKey. Um, this device is a standalone payment device. It is uh, not a, currently a VivoKey device. Um, it just is going to do payment. Uh, the, future, the, the future we're working toward is for WalletMore to be a fully vested and um, you know, bonded and licensed financial institution, able to accept uh, you know, deposit accounts and, and uh, maintain transactions in the um, global, you know, SWIFT, SEPA zone, all that kind of stuff. So um, what we are launching though is the beginning, the start of that. So the yeah, ambassadors will have a special place in, in the wallet more um, you know, history of customers and we'll, we'll make sure we take care of you now and into the future. If you have any more questions, I will be happy to take them personally. So uh, if you have them, just reach out to us at hello at WalletMore. Uh, dot com and we will uh, we will surely tackle that and make sure that you understand everything clearly and uh, you have simply no doubt about it. Perfect. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Bye. Bye.